So the word defibrillator for today, where we trust in God for a word from within the word. And even though sometimes we might hear it before, this is their time and the moment for where we are now. So uh, it's First Peter, verse 4. Um, Above all things, have intense and unfailing love for one another. And this is verse 8. For love covers a multitude of sins, forgiveness and disregards the offenses of others. Yeah, that's a big one. That is a big one. And practice hospitality to one another. Those of the household of faith, be hospitable. Be a lover of strangers with brotherly affection for the unknown guests, the foreigners, the poor, and all others who come your way who are of Christ's body. That is very, very important for me. Now, we're going into the Amplified Version, so your the King James Version is going to be practice hospitality to one another. But being the Amplified Bible, it expands as to the, the meaning behind that sentence. So practice hospitality to one another, those of the household of faith. So those are men and women of God. Now, watch how it breaks down the, the, into the different categories. And we think that when it comes to the house of God, when it comes to Christians, everyone's doing well. Mm. We are all in different phases in our life. And it, look at the instruction or listen to the instruction. Be hospitable and a lover of strangers. So you're not going to know everybody. They're going to be strangers. And we need to treat them with brotherly affection for the unknown guests, the foreigners, people from different worlds, the poor, and all others who come your way who are of Christ's body. All condition. There's no prerequisite. There is no standard. Is If you are a child of God, if you've given your, your life to Christ, you are a member of that family. You are to be treated, and I hope you get it like that, you are treated with brotherly affection. And in each instance, do it ungrudgingly, cordially and graciously, without complaining, but as representing him. My word, have I heard people complain. They might not complain to the people's faces, but boy, do they complain amongst one another, where these people are, oh man, who is this person? What are they doing now? Why do they have to come harass us? It's like, hello, the Bible says, hey, a stranger could be... An angel himself, eh? Verse 10, and this is the, the verse for today. First Peter 4. As each of you has received a gift, a particular spiritual talent, a gracious divine endowment, employ it for, for one another as benefits, good trustees of God's many-sided grace, faithful stewards of the extremely diverse powers of and gifts granted to Christians by unmerited favor. Is that a superpower? Is that is something that is given to you over and above who you are as a human being? You know, we might watch these superhuman programs or these superhero programs. Well, I can tell you one thing. You were just a standard edition of a human being. And When you give your life to Christ, look what happens. You have received a gift. You receive a gift, a particular spiritual talent. What is it? Is it discernment? Is it faith? Is it healing? Is it the way you love people? Do you have insight? Do you have words of knowledge? It's a gracious divine endowment. Employ it for one another as benefits, good trustees of God's many-sided grace. Faithful stewards of the extremely diverse powers and gifts granted to Christians by an unmerited favor. You did nothing to get it, but you've got it. Are you using it? Are you putting yourself in a place where you take that spiritual gift, that gift that has been given to you, and do you use it amongst the men and women of God? Hmm. And then it explains, whoever speaks, let him do it as one who utters oracles of God. Whoever renders service, let him do it, as with the strength which God furnishes abundantly, so that in all things God may be glorified through Jesus Christ the Messiah. Wow. What a measurement. 
did you and I, especially yesterday, today's grace, it's new every morning, as we step moment by moment today, thoughtfully step into the next moment. So how have you done so far? Or have we already needed to be in a place where we need to repent that, okay, Lord, I didn't get off to a good start today. Thank you for your grace and mercy that is new every morning. But I repent. That was not me bringing glory and honor to your name. And that's good. It's okay. So now in everything we do, as you're going to step into that room, as you're about to open your mouth, as you're about to think that thought, is it going to bring glory and honor to God? Are people going to look upon you and say, praise God? Oh, I might not see Jesus in my world, but I can see him in you. So that in all things God may be glorified through Jesus Christ the Messiah. To him be the glory and dominion forever and ever, through endless ages. Amen. Now, how amazing is that, that you and I have been given those extremely diverse powers, and it's a gift. We've also been given gifts granted to us for the body of Christ. Has anybody had a piece of that? Do they know what that is in you? Do you even know what it is? And if you did, would you be putting it upon everybody? Would you be blessing them with it? I think you would. I really, really do. So how encouraging it is that that we can stand in front of each other and go, okay, what's your gift? Come on, give it to me. Give it to me. If it's prayer, please pray for me. If it's discernment, please let me know. Because I know your heart is for me, not against me. Because that's why we do it. If we see insight into somebody's life, we're there to assist the Father in what He is already doing, serving His agenda. Heavenly Father, I thank You for this word this morning. I thank You that as we have given our life to You, we have all received a gift, a particular spiritual talent, a gracious divine endowment. May we employ it for one another as benefits, good trustees of God's many-sided grace. Yeah. Thank you for that, that we are faithful stewards of the extremely diverse powers and gifts granted to, to us. And Father, we did nothing to get it. What an awesome thought. Heavenly Father, I thank you that we can use it carefully, but not sparingly. That we can use it in abundance. If it's joy, may it be abundant joy. Father, if it is Inside may be abundant inside. If it's grace, if it's mercy, whatever our gift is, Father, if we can assist somebody in business, if we can help them budget correctly so that they don't fall short every month, if we can teach them on, on how to be a better parent or a better, better father, whatever gift you've given us, may we disperse it liberally amongst others, amongst the body. And thank you, Father, that we will bump into strangers within the kingdom. And we will give them affection like a brother. And to the foreigners that are scared and nervous from, from another land, Father, that have had to run and they're hiding, may we be there for them and, and make them feel welcome and part of the family. And to the poor, Father, put us in a position that we can assist that we can see into their world and their lives, Father, and assist in any way needed by you. We know you're already busy in their lives, in our lives, and we thank you for this word, Father, that it's the next step that we will glorify and bring honor to the name of Jesus Christ in everything we do. And we thank you for this in Jesus' name. Amen.